Howdy there, folks. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and I'm here to show you my top three Siri tweaks for jailbroken iPhones. Now, I usually do not do jailbreak videos because A, people who already jailbreak know about the great apps, and so there's no need for me to make videos, and B, those who don't want to jailbreak are pretty set in their ways and could really care less about jailbroken videos. So that's why I don't do them most often. However, with the new iOS 5 jailbreak, Green Poison, lots of people have been asking me either A, Quinn, I've been jailbroken in the past, why should I I do the new jailbreak or B, Quinn, I want a jailbreak. How should I do it and why? I'm not going to answer those questions necessarily, but with iOS 5, there are two big features and it's true. Some of the several reasons to jailbreak like multitasking and folders and, uh, you know, notifications have been solved with iOS 5 and iOS 4. And there is less and less of a reason to absolutely have the need to jailbreak. However, jailbreaking has also become more prolific. There's more jailbreakers and there's a lot more things you can do by jailbreaking. The first one is obviously with the addition of Notification Center, you can add new widgets in here. Toggling 3G, Bluetooth, brightness. It's really, really cool what you can do. And there's a lot of stuff in notifications. But what I want to show you specifically is the Siri stuff. Now, this jailbreak has only been out for, I think, four to five days, and Siri has already had several tweaks available. Of course, more are sure to come, and they're sure to be more stable, but I just picked my three favorite, and I want to show you them uh, right now. The first one is custom Siri background. So as you guys know, when you use Siri, hello, Siri, the background's pretty bland. It's not horrible, but it's not great. There's nothing really exciting or really fantastic about it. Uh, Siri is being very slow for reasons I don't know. I think it's my Wi-Fi connection. But what I can do is I can press this little button here and enable a custom Siri background. I need to pick the image from my photo library or from my camera roll. And what I can do, hello Siri, is have a unique background, which makes it a lot cooler. Uh, you know, this is not a life-changing tweak, but it is something that's neat. It adds some customization and some personality to your Siri background. The next one is called Siri, and this one is still very, very much in beta, but I think it's a pretty cool concept that will eventually develop much further. Now, of course, all of you know, you can uh, press the, or you can go to your Twitter client, open up a new tweet, and use Siri dictation to type out a tweet. Hello world, comma, I'm typing this tweet with Siri, period. It's pretty fast, it's pretty instantaneous, and it's really rather handy. But what if you're in another application, you don't have the time to jump to your Twitter app, uh, I'm gonna show you how to tweet with Siri. Now, there are some problems with it. The problems right now are there's no punctuation. So you just look like a babbling idiot because there's no periods, no commas, it capitalizes random letters, but it does still work for what it's meant to do. Tweet, hello Siri. And it's really handy because it uses the Twitter account that's hooked up to your iPhone. So it says, send tweet, hello Siri, which is fantastic because if we open my Twitter client, we will see that indeed it sent that tweet, hello Siri. So that's pretty handy. You know, it's not perfect. There is no commas or periods or anything of that sort yet, but I should only imagine it'll come in due time. The last tweak has to be my favorite because it's the most powerful and it's called Siri Toggles. Now Siri Toggles allows you to do a myriad of things which I'm going to demonstrate right now. Disable Wi-Fi. Disabling Wi-Fi. Pretty handy. You can toggle all that stuff, Bluetooth, VPN, you name it, you got it. Set backlight to 40%. That was very poor English. Setting backlight level to 40%. Set backlight level to 75%. This is pretty nice because you don't need to dig through the settings, which is kind of handy. Last but certainly not least, what you can do is launch applications. And this is what I love. Open Netflix. Launching Netflix. Very, very handy. Or you can say, open Bejeweled. Launching Bejeweled. Now, it does struggle with tough app names. Like if I wanted to open my Twitter client, Twitter it will not work Siri, simply because Siri can't interpret a word like that. So open Twitter However, for apps that are well known for stuff that 
Siri would recognize. Uh, it'll work great, and you can launch applications directly from Siri and from other applications, which is nice. You don't have to use this bottom bar if you don't want to. It's really pretty handy. And so those are my three favorite Siri tweaks available in the Cydia store if you jailbreak today. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to do a video on jailbreaking? Do you guys already know about it? Do you even care about it? Let me know. If so, I will bring more jailbroken content. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.